Hi everyone, I'm Andrew, and in this video, we're going to take at a newly released applied machine learning prototype, or AMP as we like to call them, that demonstrates one way that we can achieve continuous model monitoring on CML. And in particular, we're gonna take a look at how we can combine CML's model metrics feature, along with Evidently AI's open source monitoring dashboards to monitor for data and concept drift. If you wanna deploy this AMP for yourself, in CML, you can come over here to the AMP catalog page. And you'll see at the bottom here, we have the continuous model monitoring AMP, which we can configure and then deploy. And since I've already done this ahead of time, we'll jump ahead. After the AMP has been deployed, you'll see a series of completed steps on the screen here. And if we go to the project itself, we see that project creation was successful and that there has been a model that's deployed called price regressor. If we really quickly just look at the script that this model endpoint is running, we can take a look at it here, script, and then we go to predict. We will see that in here, we do have this CDSW model metrics decorator around our predict function. And you also see that in here, we're using CDSW track metrics. So we're tracking all of our input features and saving them as input features. Similarly, we're tracking the predicted result from every single call to this function is that there is an application up and running that is our price regressor monitoring dashboard. And so if we take a look here, we'll see it's a pretty lightweight dashboard that hosts three different types of reports. This first one is just monitoring for data drift. So you can drill in by feature and look at data distribution changes from the reference to the current time frame of data that we're comparing against. We can also have a report in here for numerical target drift. So this is looking at, is there a significant drift in our target variable itself, which in this case is price. We have a whole bunch of visualizations that help you inspect if that price target variable is actually drifting or not and how it compares to historical performance values. And similarly, then we have a regression performance dashboard that includes the ground truth value. So actually calculating error and different error metrics across our different sets of data, what the model was trained on versus the most recent time frame of batch of data that comes in. And we have lots of different visualizations that we can use to understand error and if our error distributions are changing. And then finally, you'll see that we can filter or browse by different batches of data, so different time periods. And this is a way that as a model maintainer, I can get a good idea of how my model's performing over time and how it may be degrading and when it may need to be retrained. That is a wrap for this video demonstration of our new AMP that walks you through one way that you can do continuous model monitoring on CML. I hope you've enjoyed this run through and that it was informational. Please do go ahead and deploy this AMP run it yourself and reach out with any questions. Thanks.